What's happening, everybody? I've been very, very fortunate to have this expansive bank of, of chops and this vocabulary that I've kind of built up over the years. Um, just want to take a quick second to put down a few of them for you, and hopefully they'll be as useful to you as they have been to me. Right, left, right, kick, flam, kick. Left, right, left, kick, flam, kick. Like I said, a six note pattern. Uh, I think it's pretty simple. I started with my left because it's kind of fancy. Um, and I, I believe in, in being fancy when you can, but uh, check it out. Uh, this is linear singles uh, between your hands and your feet. It's really up to you to decide where you want to place uh, your hands on what drum. And the more creative you get, the more combinations you can come up with. Um, it just, just makes it fun. Uh, the object is just to kind of keep things as nice and neat as possible at whatever speed, at whatever volume, whatever velocity. Um, just work on making sure that it's clean and neat between your hands and your feet. Make sure it's clean and neat between your hands and your feet. Make sure, I'm sorry, that was so corny. I hope they edited that out. Between your hands and your feet, uh, singles, uh, place them where you want. Listen guys, I'm gonna keep it 100 with you. I'm not even sure what to call this one. Uh, this would be Aaron's secret stuff. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> uh, this combination is really just a left, right, left. Um, but in the flurry pattern that I play it, uh, it sounds like this. And the reason why I started with my left is because uh, it comes down to the snare. It's just natural for me to play the snare with my left hand because that's, that's my snare hand. Um, so I start with my left so that way I can get back to the snare uh, when I'm playing this time, playing this time, and this time. I, I try to start it with my right. Um, it works when I, when I start on my 10, but when I get over here to my, to my 12 and to my 16, it gets a little bit weird. So for me, it's just more comfortable to to kind of keep it um, to keep to start it with my left hand. Uh, this is this is what it would sound like. Uh, this one's pretty simple uh, for the most part. It's just the, you know, the magic of kind of speeding it up or slowing it down to fit what it is that you're playing. Right, left, right, left, right, crash. Right, left, right, left, right, crash. Uh, 
Uh, the last one that I'll share with you is, I think is, is you know, fairly easy. It really d depends on your imagination and kind of how you approach it or how you attack it. Uh, this one is just, uh, just triplets between your hands and your feet. Uh, I'll say two on your hands, uh, one on your feet, or one on your, on your, not your feet, on your foot. <laughs> you know, you can voice it, you know, so many different ways. It's really about um, your imagination and where you decide that you want to take it, you know? So uh, I'll give you an example. So guys, thank you so much. Uh, like I said, again, I, I really appreciate you uh, you being here, and, and I just want to encourage you to uh, take these ideas, these these uh, these things that I've shared with you, uh, make them your own. You know, the same way that I did with the people that came before me. Um, and I have borrowed and stolen a lot of things over the years. Uh, and these things that I shared with you, hopefully, man, you will take them. Um, you know, just kind of give them your own spice, your own personality. And uh, I'd love to be able to see kind of what you come up with the, uh, with the different things that we've shared here today. Thank you.